you got to love the Christian caucasity of rewriting and renegotiating history. Oh, Mr. William Church says that, you know, that movie, The Book of Clarence, is based on a racist ideology and racism is hate and God is love. You know, the movie is just blasphemous, prompting up a false prophet. He obviously didn't see the movie because in the end of at the end of the movie, Clarence becomes a believer and is redeemed for his belief. So it's actually a message that you probably would like. But let me tell you what gets your Caucasian goat. What gets your Caucasian goat is your lack of historical understanding and the fact that the movie portrays Caucasians in the same way that Caucasians treat people of color around the world and especially here in America. That's your actual problem because the mirror that it shows of the Roman Empire in the same way colonial America, slave enslavement America, and Jim Crow America, and still to this day, systematic racism is ready and apparent, is running wild in America. That's your problem. But if you actually understood history and studied the Roman Empire, to which is something that I did do many decades ago, you will find that the Roman Empire didn't give two shits about anybody unless they were Roman. You see, if you look and study Julius Caesar, just Julius Caesar alone, Julius Caesar in his memoirs wrote that the British, the Saxons, the Gauls were only useful for slaves and for gladiatorial games to be fed to the lions. That he saw them as barbaric and ignorant, as pagan, as worthless. And until you go and you actually do research on that, you'll recognize that during this era of time, the Roman Empire did not necessarily care about race. Hell, they had three, at least three emperors who were of color. What they cared about was, were you Roman? You see, the Roman Empire was actually a melting pot of people. But it is those who increased their stature raised themselves above their caste system of bloodline, but declared their loyalty, their fealty to Rome that they respected. Now, seeing as how the people of Judea were not pledging their fealty to Rome because they were looking for a Messiah that would overthrow the Roman government. They also felt this way about the people of Thrace, about the people in Gaul, about the people in Spain. They felt that way about all these people. Because their loyalty was to Rome and Romans were the elite. Romans were of the better blood, of better stock. They didn't care about race. This is something that you would not understand and cannot understand because your lens is through the racist lens of America. And you hate the way that mirror looks. That face that reflects back at you just drives you insane. Because you want to renegotiate history to fit your Bible of today. And your Bible of today is a lie that you tell yourself constantly. It is the lie of your cherry picking and picking and choosing of what's moral and what's immoral. Instead of recognize the immorality of your book. It's all right, though. You have to understand, if you continue to ignore history... And history is destined to repeat itself. This is why it is vital for you to understand that that was the history of that era. And we have the history of our era. And if we don't recognize that people will have a supremacist mentality based on different ideologies, whether it's bloodlines, nationality, or race, or gender, or anything else, if we don't eliminate Superiorities, period. We are destined to continue to be oppressors and the oppressed. But hey, enjoy your capacity of renegotiating history and your Bible. And you have a great day. And always remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Good vibration.